April 9, 1959, NASA introduced the seven Americans who would travel to infinity and beyond for the first time. The Mercury 7 mission is the foundation of our modern day space program. Its goal, to put an American in orbit around the Earth. NASA was in its infancy, just six months old at the time. Its plan was strategic, send up the astronauts one by one in Mercury spacecrafts. The first two flights would touch space and come back down. The rest would go into full orbit and circle the Earth. From 1961 to 1963, six of the astronauts made it into space. Alan Shepard, who you may know from his famous walk on the moon, was the first American to ever break past Earth's atmosphere. His flight was just 15 minutes long. It wasn't until the third flight when John Glenn became the first American to orbit Earth in his capsule Friendship 7. The seventh astronaut, Deke Slayton, wouldn't make it on board of Mercury space capsule due to a health problem, but he'd still go to space in 1975 in the Apollo-Soyuz test project. And of course, we can't forget about those who came before the astronauts. NASA made sure the spacecrafts were safe, not just with unmanned test flights, but with several brave test monkeys and chimpanzees. And they made it back. And they did. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing to see how far we've come. And what is honestly a very short period of time. Yeah. And then we're kind of in a, a new space age, you know, as we get into the SpaceX's of the world. And, you know, they're making these huge advancements in how we're able to do space travel. It's amazing. And everybody yeah. remembers where they were in 1969 when we first landed on the moon. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's cool.